On a steep terrain, the house is composed of two concrete slabs that draw horizontal lines, supported by a sequence of pillars disguised among the trees of the garden, preserving the original tropical forest. The house is suspended on stilts to allow rainwater to drain and to enable the house to breathe. From the street, the house appears to be a simple wooden box. However, its volumetric complexity, consisting of three boxes and two platforms, can only be appreciated from the other side of the valley. It is accessible via a bridge that connects the public and private spaces without obstructing the view. Upon entering through the wooden facade, a square glass frame frames the mountain view and creates an expectation of what is to come. The staircase leads to a platform below, where there is a portico that leads to a spacious open space of the living room, illuminated by light entering through the glazed facade, which can be completely retractable. At the end of the room, there are pivoting wooden panels that open towards the west terrace, where the pool benefits from abundant sun exposure. The platform also houses an opaque wooden box that encloses the kitchen, guest bathroom, and master bedroom in the corner. Descending another level leads to a third suspended and cantilevered wooden box, housing the bedrooms, TV room, and wine cellar. The materials used enhance the balanced proportions of the house. The concrete slabs expose their apparent texture on the ceilings, and the floors are covered in basalt. The three programmatic wooden boxes bring warmth to the environment and present a variety of rich tactile textures. The decoration consists of mid-century Brazilian pieces, 
used sparingly to allow the traces of each designer to be appreciated. The Casa de Minas is a tranquil house that floats on the slope and stands out for its concise composition of materials and different relationships with the view. It is a space to be enjoyed amidst nature.